Also tonight, the Trump administration announced that it is rolling back fuel economy standards for the auto industry. Obama-era rules would roughly double gas mileage in new vehicles by 2025. But the Environmental Protection Agency announced today that is too much. For more, I'm joined now by Amy Harder of Axios. Amy, welcome back to the program. So why is the Trump administration doing this? Well, the, the regulatory rollback has been a key part of the Trump administration's agenda on the energy and environment front. The president and the EPA administrator, Scott Pruitt, have said repeatedly over the last year that they wanted to roll back regulations on automakers and, and bring back Detroit. So this is really one of the regulations that that consumers and drivers see the most because they see the sticker on the car. So this is part of a broader agenda that the administration thinks that the former administration was going too aggressively. So how far back are they actually rolling these standards? So we didn't get a lot of details today. Today is really the, the very beginning of a long regulatory process. Um, it might be more than a year before these things are final. So there weren't no, there were no actual numbers about what they think the standards should be. So as of now, that's to be determined. They're going to do a rulemaking over the next year that will decide that. And what is the auto industry saying about this? Are they together with the administration in wanting the standards rolled back? Well, that's a great question. It's a little bit murky. The, the associations that represent automakers, they, they say they welcome a redo and a reexamination of the standards, in part because gasoline prices have dropped and consumers want to have their F-150s, for example. But because California is moving more aggressively on these, there's this concern that there'll be a messy patchwork of regulations and auto Automakers are, are, won't be able to comply with that if there's different standards depending on what state you're driving in. And that was going to be one of my questions. I mean, California has had stricter standards. Are they going to be affected differently from everybody else? Well, that's a great question. So California has, has had a waiver for almost 50 years right. allowing them to, to set tougher standards given the smog that has beset that state um, decades ago. So um, the EPA said today that they, didn't, they were not taking action on that today. It's going to be something they decide on later. Later, but it's going to be a showdown. It's going to be a legal and regulatory mess. And the automakers are kind of caught in the middle. They welcome this redo, but they don't want to have a patchwork. So just quickly, bottom line, we don't really know yet how this is going to affect uh, the emission standards. Right, we don't. These these economy standards were one of the, the, the largest and um, earliest pillars of President Obama's climate agenda. But we don't know yet um, what the, how much of a rollback uh, the EPA will want to go. I think that'll be a big question. And they say they're doing analysis to, to show what um, consumers actually want to buy. I think there's concern that they'll go quite far back and really reverse the clock. Whereas auto companies say they want to continue to ratchet up the standards, just maybe not quite as much as what Obama put on the table. Amy Harder with Axios, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.